Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a little Chanel unboxing and share my first impression and some sort of review. I am most likely the very first few people doing this review because this is the bag from the latest collection, the 24A, which was released in this June. And I literally just got this bag like last week. And according to my sales associate, this is the first one arrived in the retail store that I normally shop in Shanghai. And I have been saving this moment for today's video. Let's go straight to the bag. A little bit of my story time. So I spotted this bag um, on my sales associates social media. So she was doing this kind of preview pictures. Basically, she's posting the screenshots from the brand website regarding the dimensions, the price point, the colors, that kind of stuff. And I fell in love by just looking at the pictures. I texted her, uh, but it turned out it's not in Shanghai yet. So I've been waiting for two weeks probably. And it was last week, she texted me in the middle of the day saying, it's here, do you want to come in? I didn't expect that day to pick up a new purse because if I did know, I would at least wash my hair or you know, wear something fancy. Anyway, I show up in the retail shop looking weird with my greasy hair <laughs> but as soon as i try it on i mean i look like a completely different person it lit up my outfit even though i look lamb somehow so this is the chanel hobo the 24a so chanel is doing this hobo every season but i wasn't that much into the other bags until this one came out it is this shiny lambskin in the mm, caramel kind of brown the color and shape i don't have this in my collection and it has this golden chain Let's take a look at the shape. So it has this kind of edgy bottom. There is one zipper here, which is smooth. And inside there is this one little pocket with no zipper. iPhone. I fit in like easily. I like these tiny bags that pass the iPhone tests because that simply means it is a perfect everyday bag. So this bag comes in black color as well, but I just prefer this brown color because I don't have it and because this brown tone adds a little bit of the old school understated vibe and it's so chic. And the part I like the most about this bag is, in fact, this chunky chin. Even when I'm wearing it facing the front, not showing the back, but it's still eye-catchy because of this chin. And it's very lightweighted. So this leather, the lambskin, it's the same as the 31 bag, which I already did a review on. I can share a little bit of the cons about lambskin. So it's very easy to get the crease on it. Let's say if you are just placing the bag like this, like unintentionally, 
it's going to have that crease like very soon. But because of the design of the bag, it's not that obvious. So in terms of the way to maintain it, it's important to just always keep it, you know, like stuffed with something or just place it flat to not fold it in any cases. Apart from that, I think the maintenance of this lambskin is pretty much similar to any other leather bag. And I like how soft, how shiny it is. It's just so pretty. Yeah, this color goes so well with my hair color. This color for sure can stand out in like autumn and winter, but because it's a tiny little bag, it doesn't look weird in summertime. Yeah, I love it. And that's pretty much it of my first impression. And thank you for watching. I hope it's helpful if you're eyeing this bag. And I'll see you guys in my next video.